guys, so today I will be teaching you how to start your own fitness journal with minimal tools to spice up your glow up journey during this quarantine. Here I chose to use a loose leaf binding notebook because I think that it's more convenient than normal notebooks that bullet journalers use as you can just tear off the pages that you don't like and add on pages when you feel like it. The first step you have to do is to make a cover page. Here, I'm just making a very minimalistic cover page because we're trying to minimize the tools that we're using here. Here, I am using a pencil to outline the things that I want to draw. In the middle, I used a yellow pen to write the word Tolly's health journey. And I just used a thinner yellow pen to outline a square and spice it up. The next page, I just wrote a quote, which is kind of my live motto. And then for the next page, I wrote some affirmations and here are my favorite affirmations that I used to say to myself every day but then I stopped but I plan to start again. Because I truly truly believe in the power of words and how much they can change you if you say them to yourself every single day. Also throughout the video, you will see I'm using the same method to title my pages because it looks nice and it's clear. Coming up next is the goals page. I didn't really show it in the video, but here are some ideas that you can use. The next page is a page for self-care slash self-love. The first title that we're writing is things that make me happy. It is important to find things that make you happy in life so you will find life meaningful and exciting. Even though we're trying to actively change our bodies, it is very important to start with the place of self-love because you love your body so you want it to be treated better and improve itself. So the second title that we're writing here is things that I love about myself. And honestly, the thing that I love most about myself is my eyes. I think they're very beautiful. The next page is a weight slash reward page. And I just draw a lot of squares and then each time I achieve that weight, I will color the square. If I've successfully colored five squares, I would buy myself a reward just to motivate myself. Next page is the monthly page. I just use two colors of brush pens to write the word April. The followings are the habits that I want to create in the month of April. Of course, you can customize your own goals. So if you have done the certain goal for that day, I will color that circle. The next page is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just breaking down the big goals into monthly goals. So the last part of this journal is for you to write down your feelings daily. I think it is very important to recognize your feelings and control your emotions. Sometimes writing down really helps a lot. This extra idea is that you can write down some healthy meals ideas so whenever you're like thinking of what to eat, in instead of reaching for junk food, you can just take a look at this page and decide what to make it for yourself that are hearty and healthy. Moreover, you can write down your big whys for why you're starting this health journey. It can be for yourself and it can be that you want to be a role model for your mom or your dad and for me generally i just want to feel less insecure and more confident in my own body so this is pretty much everything that i want to share with you about starting your own fitness journal and this is the final flip through of everything I really hope you like this video and glow up with me. 
and comment down below what you think about this video what you like and what you don't like about it and here am i trying to say goodbye to you so i hope you like this video and i'll see you next time bye